the royal trio will go up against Meghan Markle. Hello friends, welcome to the latest updates from the former royal couple Harry and Meghan. Recently, the royal side has revealed the secret meeting of Queen Elizabeth II with Princess Camilla and Princess Catherine. It is known that this meeting has been arranged by the Queen since the end of last year and until now, the royal side has only revealed it to the outside. The trio of powerful women had an extremely intimate conversation. The three planned and discussed the complex issues that remained within the royal family. Besides, the Queen also sent loving instructions for the two future queens. Queen Elizabeth was crowned at the age of 25. Up to the present time, she is the longest reigning person to the throne in the history of the royal family. Our venerable queen has always had the support of the British people. She dedicated her life to serving the country. Although she has faced many difficulties, the queen has been doing very well in her role as a queen of the United Country. In royal history, it was extremely rare for a woman to assume the largest role in a country, most of which were held by men. However, our queen has affirmed that the position of women in society is not inferior to that of men. We should appreciate and be grateful for that. Camilla is known as the Duchess of Cornwall. She and Prince Charles once had a deep love, but fate kept them apart for a long time. Some sources said that the two had been together during the time of Diana's wife was still alive. Camilla was once denounced as a mistress when she interfered in Charles and Diana's marriage. Eight years after Princess Diana's death, Prince Charles and Camilla decided to get married. Initially, they did not receive the support of the people and members of the royal family, but until now, everything has changed. A royal source said that at Prince Charles's 50th birthday party, the Queen did not attend because of the presence of Princess Camilla. It can be said that the pressures that Camilla had to endure were not small, but she successfully overcame them. According to the Queen, Camilla is a capable woman. Over the years, she has made many great contributions to the royal family. Besides, Camilla is noted as a loyal person to Prince Charles and the royal family. Her efforts finally paid off. Recently, Queen Elizabeth once expressed her desire for Princess Camilla to become queen, to become a solid rear for Prince Charles. This took many people by surprise. However, the overwhelming response of the British people has become a congratulatory signal for the royal family. A little bit about the Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Catherine. She has been the eldest daughter-in-law of the royal family since 2011 and will become queen in the future when Prince William becomes king. Kate has always received the trust of everyone, not only in the royal family, but also the people of the United Kingdom. Recently, Kate has become the most influential member of the royal family as she constantly scores with the audience with her ingenuity and talent. She and William have become the most popular couple in recent years, according to figures released by royal experts. You see, the powerful female trio got into action. I bet the British monarchy will get stronger and stronger because it already has a very strong back. Our queen has already begun planning her son's coronation. In addition, the royal positions are almost set. The secret exchange between the three people at the end of last year made many people extremely curious. Experts said that the queen and her two rear guards discussed the outstanding issues in the royal family, especially the case of Prince Andrew and Harry. Recently, the Queen can breathe a sigh of relief because Prince Andrew has almost settled a sexual abuse lawsuit against a woman named Virginia Jeffrey. However, Prince Harry remains a major concern for the royal family. Experts revealed that in the opinion of Camp Camilla and Kate, Harry is completely dominated by Meghan. I've told you this before, haven't I? The Queen has always wanted Harry to return to the royal family, and that is why she has not stripped Harry of his title. However, 
Currently, Harry and Meghan are living a fairly stable life in the U.S., but what the Queen is worried about is that Harry always follows Meghan's wishes, and that could be to the detriment of the royal family. The Sussexes interview with chat mogul Oprah Winfrey is a testament to Harry's ignorance. Because he loves and trusts his wife too much, Harry has taken actions to tolerate Meghan's indiscriminate speech. Specifically, Meghan Markle has blamed the royal family for a racist attitude when they did not give Archie the title of prince. This statement has caused Harry and Meghan to receive a lot of criticism for their limited understanding. Also, it's Harry's fault that he also took part of his wife's royal assault. He is the one who has criticized the too strict education of the Queen and Prince Charles. Through the unhappy sharing of the couple, the royal family was caught up in many false rumors. Prince Charles has been the victim of intense public attack when he was suspected of being a racist. It took a long time for the royal family to settle this rumor. I think the problem is not with Harry, but with Meghan Markle. From the very beginning, the Duchess of Sussex has always been a top concern for the royal family. Prince William had vehemently opposed to the Sussex marriage, and it was the beginning of a rift between the two princes. In particular, Prince William once frankly told Harry that he should rethink his proposal to Meghan. The Duke of Cambridge also did not hesitate to express his concerns about his brother's girlfriend. The relationship around actress Meghan Markle is extremely complicated. She was married to a film producer before marrying Harry. The story of the breakdown in their marriage has been the subject of public discussion for many years. In addition, Meghan Markle often has friction with members of her family. Many sources say that Meghan has not spoken to her biological father for many years, not even asking when he was in the hospital. This was revealed by her half-sister. The Duchess of Sussex is said to be a woman of calculation. This is said by her own close friend. You see, people around Meghan all have bad comments about her, which will make many people question the true nature of the Duchess of Sussex. Body language experts have also analyzed and shown that the relationship between Meghan and Harry is submissive. You can see this through Harry's gestures. He always has to look at his wife's facial expressions during interviews. Many people have said that Harry's blindness in love made him betray his own family. This is really true of what he's been doing in the past year. After the controversy from the interview with Oprah Winfrey, Harry was described as someone who could willingly hold a gun pointed directly at his family. In addition, he also received a reputation as an ungrateful person. After all that's happened, I personally think it's only Harry who suffers. I mean, he had to give up his noble position for his wife and leave his homeland. He also suffered a reputation as a family traitor because of his wife. More importantly, he is becoming the most hated prince in England. Meanwhile, a few years ago, Harry's popularity far exceeded that of the Queen and Prince William. It can be said that in exchange for love, Harry had to lose too many things. I have to repeat this. The Queen and members of the royal family have always wanted Harry's return. However, this seems very difficult, as he is no longer in the Queen's control. Therefore, in order for the royal family to be at peace, the Queen, Camilla, and Kate have to come to an agreement that they will welcome the Sussex family with joy and gradually accept the real person of actress Meghan Markle. Until now, the Queen's concerns have not stopped at Harry. She has two pitiful great-grandchildren, whom she has not seen for a long time. This is a huge loss for the two children, especially Lilibet, who has never met everyone in the royal family. Harry and Meghan have so far not confirmed whether they will return to the royal family in conditions without security support. I bet the royal trio has a plan for everything, including the Sussexes. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for following our newsletter. Don't forget to leave your thoughts on this topic below in the comments section. See you in the next videos. See ya.